Hello, hello, this is TK with StarCraftTournament.com bringing you another cast. This is a 2 vs 2 game, uh, not from our tournament, but one of our tournament players, Harry Chess, <coughs> uh, spawning as a blue zerg, recommended that I cast this game. Harry Chess is a very, very solid 2 vs 2 random team player. I think he's currently ranked uh, number 3 in the world in that category. So very excited to see uh, how he's going to play this game. Uh, his ally is the Red Protoss Windchill. I'm not familiar with this player, but I looked him up and he is very, very highly ranked. I think he is number two or three in this division in the Diamond League for one versus one. So, <clears throat> a very solid player. And their opponent, uh, the Purple Protoss Inflow Linko. Not exactly familiar with Linko, but I am familiar with their clan Inflow. They are very solid, uh, with their most notable player being Inflo Mini. And his ally, Heredity, is the Teal Terran. So we have a Terran Terran and a Zerg Protoss matchup. Now I normally don't cast 2 versus 2 games, so I'm not really familiar with all the strategies and techniques that go into it. But uh, I do know that <laughs> they tend to mass up an army and attack one of the other opponents trying to cripple him so that then they can play 2 versus 1 and uh, if they have to tech up and just basically beat them with the sheer amount of army size. And a little bit of talking going between Winchell and Harry Chess, apparently they have played together before and they apparently they played the same exact team before, so I wonder what happened in game one. I'm definitely um, gonna see if I can look that up and see what the result of that was. But <laughs> apparently Harry Ch uh, apparently after scouting they figure out that everybody's going the same exact build. So we'll see what goes on with that. Production-wise, um, Wincho says that he's going to 4-gate, so <clears throat> you're going to see probably uh, after the cybernetic score, maybe 3-8 gateways pop up. And then, spawning pool finishing for Harry Chess, metabolic boost coming up, uh, Queen and 4 Zerglings, very good uh, managing of his minerals as they're almost at 0 at one point, getting out all of the units that he had to. Heredity coming out with a barrack, a couple marines, um, his orbital going up, and another barrack going up. So Heredity might be going for a mass marine type of build, while his uh, partner, Inflo Linko, is going for a factory. So probably a mar all marine from uh, the Teal Terran as the Purple Terran techs up and goes a little bit of mech. Both of these Terrans walling off, very very wise against a uh, Zerg especially because <coughs> of the Baneling run through and the Bane Bust. Actually the Bane Bust, these two supply depots make it very very, uh, make a very very vulnerable part of the wall as well as, well as these two uh, supply depots. So maybe we might see a little bit of backing up with uh, another structure back here. Harry Chess allowing his partner uh, control of his overlord and Winchell saying he knows it's a 4 gate, putting his probe right here. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Anyways, Harry Chess moving out with a handful of uh, Zerglings, 12 Zerglings with speed just popping out, turning into Banley, so we will see a Banley bus at the front door. But, uh, as suspected, a bunker goes up right behind the uh, supply depots. This actually might be a better build, or a better way of placing his uh, Oh, oh, as he's lifted, the Banelings might run in, but the, that Hellion is the, just stayed. Oh, and he left the gap through his front. Not good. The Banelings is doing so much damage. The Zerglings get in. The star, uh, Starport's going up, but Inflo in a lot of trouble. There is nothing out on the field. His ally brings in three uh, Marines, and at the bottom of the base, a proxy pylon at the bottom with the overlord spotting the high ground being able to warp in four stalkers and at the front the two marines take care of the zerglings but these four oh this that's just great placement great stalker placement the scvs can't get a good surround on him and they're doing so much damage there's just too much economic damage for inflow to uh come back from this but as you do know this is a two versus two so <coughs> If need be, the Teal Terran can to, uh, send over some minerals, but there's just too much. The Zerglings come in, more units were walked in, and Inflow is forced to call the GG, and Heredity, his teammate, knows that it's two-on-one, and it is over. 
That was a very, very clever placement of that pylon. Very, very well done. Well, if you like this cast, uh, let me know by thumbsing it up. Subscribe if you didn't. Just, you know what? Just leave that as a comment. Just tell me what you didn't like. I mean, I can take it. So, um, yeah, give me some feedback, guys. This is TK signing out.